Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to differentiate and integrate the ln function using the simplest way possible. So hopefully, if you didn't understand how to do it before, you would know how to do it after watching this video. So let's show you guys the formula. Okay, so here is the formula. If y is equal to ln bracket f of x, so a function inside the ln function, then the derivative of that y dash would be equal to the derivative of the inside of the ln function divided by the inside of the ln function. So let's start off by showing you an example. So let's go if y is equal to ln, let's just give you guys an easy one, so 5x and we want to differentiate it, so y dash would be equal to, okay, so how do you differentiate 5x? Let's write down um, the inside of the function, f of x is 5x, okay, and then what's f dash of x? How do we differentiate that? If you guys remember this simple equation, if you differentiate it following the derivative rule you will get 5 so then the answer is going to be f dash of x which is 5 divided by f of x which is 5x now if you want to simplify that using a uh, fraction uh, rule so 5 divided by 5 is 1 so then you would get 1 over x Okay, so that is the derivative of ln 5x. Okay, so um, let's give you guys a different one. So let's say I have differentiate, differentiate ln bracket 6x cubed. So then what you would do is you would go y dash equals f dash of x over f of x. So let's write these down on the side. f of x is 6x cubed. f dash of x is 18x squared. Hopefully you would know how to do that already. So now we can substitute these two things in. So then we get 18x cubed over 6x cubed. And then we can, uh, sorry, 18x squared, not x cubed. What am I doing? 18x, sorry, 6x cubed over 18x squared. Okay, can't even copy things down right. Okay, so now the answer is going to be 18 divided by 6 is going to be 3. So it's going to be 3. Uh, and then we have x squared on the top, x cubed on the bottom. So x squared is now gone cubed is turned into 2 because 3 minus sorry 3 minus 2 is 1 okay so then it's just going to be 3 over x 3 over x is the uh, is the derivative so if you don't believe me let's check that with geogebra so let's type this equation in the geogebra y equals ln oops I'm typing in korean y equals ln what's going on it's not coming up yes it is y equals ln bracket 6x cubed okay so you can see there's the graph for it and then if i want to differentiate it i will go derivative of f and then you can see that derivative is 3 over x Okay, so we have done this one correctly. Now, let me just do one more differentiation question. And that is what happens if I put a constant at the front. So let's give you guys differentiate y equals 5 ln 2x squared. So how would you do that? Well, it's actually really easy. What you would do is you would simply copy down the constant at the front and then you're going to multiply by the derivative so the derivative is f dash of x over f of x 
f of x is what's on the inside, so 2x squared. f dash of x is 4x, so let's copy them down. So it's just going to be uh, 5 times 4x over 2x squared. And let's try and simplify that. 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. Uh, and then I have x on the top, x squared on the bottom, 2 minus 1 is 1. So then the answer, 5 times 2 is 10. And then on the bottom, it's just x, 10 over x. Again, let's check it with GeoGebra. So I have, let's delete this other stuff. y equals 5 times ln 2x squared. And then differentiate it, derivative of f, 10 over x, which is what we have. Awesome. Okay, so now let's talk about integrating. Now that we know how to differentiate, integrate would be really easy. Because we have already told you guys this formula. If y equals ln x, y dash equals f of x. Uh, sorry, f dash of x over f of x. So then when you integrate, you simply write this inside the integral sign, the integral of f dash of x over f of x, all right, with respect to x, is simply ln x plus c. ln x plus c. So then if I um, try and do a question, so let's say I give you guys a question. Okay, I just go, let's do 12x squared on the bottom. And let's just go 24x on the top. Okay, then what do you see? You can see that the bottom is f of x. Alright, and the top is... Uh, the numerator is f dash of x, which is 24x. So it matches matches our equation. So then inside this uh, formula, which I have written down incorrectly, because inside here should be f of x. All right. Inside this formula, I can simply put in ln f of x, which is 12x squared plus c. All done. All done. So how easy is that? Extremely easy, isn't it? Now, what if I want to give you guys something else? Instead of one where the numerator is simple is a perfect derivative of the denominator, I'm going to give you guys something else. So let's say I have ooh, 5x cubed. And on the bottom, uh, sorry, on the numerator, it's meant to be 15x squared. But let's say I put in 10x squared. All right, it's not 15. So how would you do that? Well, again, you would write down the formula. So you would write down the integral of f dash of x over f of x. All right, when you integrate this function, you're going to get ln f of x plus c you're going to get that so f of x is equal to the denominator which is 5x cubed right but the new uh the f dash of x which is different to the current numerator okay because if i differentiate this i will get 15x squared so if I substitute these two terms into the formula, into the formula, if I substitute them in, then I'm going to get the integral of uh, f dash of x is 15x squared over uh, 5x cubed with respect to x is equal to ln bracket 5x cubed plus c. But the problem is this equation has a 15 on the top, whereas the question we're trying to do has 10 on the top. So how would we change? 
How do we change this fifteen into ten? Any ideas? Okay, very simple. Because if you guys remember, with integrals, you can multiply by a constant at the front, and it will it will go inside the integral. So what that means is, if I multiply at the front, multiply by, and notice how the number we want is ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by. Let's get rid of the fifteen by dividing it by fifteen. And let's multiply it by ten on the top. Now, because we have done this on the left-hand side, and the rule of algebra states that whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So I'm going to multiply by that on the right-hand side as well. Okay. So now, what is the answer? Well, the constant at the front can go inside the integral. So then I have 15 divided by 15 is gone. So then I have 10x squared over 5x cubed dx equals 10 over 15 ln 5x cubed plus c. So that is the answer. Now, however, you can see that.、Um, 10 over 15 can be simplified anyway into 2 over 3 ln 5x cubed. So let's try and do this on our、uh, calculator and see if this differentiates into、uh, this. So there is our equation: 2 over 3 5x cubed. And if I differentiate that. I get、um, two over x. Now you might say, "Hang on, well that's different to this, isn't it?" But if you try and simplify this equation, because I didn't simplify it、um, when I was showing you guys, so if I try and simplify that, I will get ten、um, divided by five. Ten divided by five is two. And x to the power of two over x to the power of three is x to the power of one on the bottom. So that part here is exactly the same as two over x. So again, I have just proven to you guys with GeoGebra that your solution is correct. Okay, so this is the video on how to differentiate and integrate natural log functions. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.